the global price rise so that energy is accessible at affordable cost. This is the primary focus of India's energy needs. India has already pledged to become net zero in emissions by 2070 and cut down the emissions by 1 billion tons by the end of 2030. These commitments come despite India's historical contribution to global emissions since 1890 is about 4% despite the fifth being the fifth largest economy and home to 17% of the world's population, and despite India's per capita emissions ranking the lowest amongst the G20 countries and about half of the global average. Against this backdrop, India has carved out an energy agenda which is inclusive, market-based, and climate-sensitive. We continue to underscore the importance of oil and gas, yet our commitment to climate change mitigation goals remains unabated and undiluted. We remain focused on energy efficiencies, laying impetus on fuels of the future, including biofuels and hydrogen, and increasing the use of renewable energies, etc. At the same time, we are taking transformative steps to increase domestic exploration and production of traditional hydrocarbons. In today's plenary, we are also witnessing, or we will be witness, to the launch of three landmark initiatives by the Honorable Prime Minister. As per the vision that the Honorable Prime Minister laid out in 2017, a double burner solar cooktop which can provide green, clean, effective, and permanent solution for the cooking needs of the families is being launched today. This has replicability in the countries of the global south and the rest of the world. Again, in line with the clarion call given by the Honorable Prime Minister to phase out single-use plastic items, we are launching the largest initiative in the world to reuse and recycle 100 million PET bottles per year. This also resonates with the global initiative Lifestyle for the Environment movement launched by the Honorable Prime Minister. These PET bottles will be converted into cloth for the frontline workers of the oil marketing companies and non-combat uniforms for the armed forces and other institutions and retail sales. The Honorable Prime Minister had set for us a target of 10% ethanol blending by the end of November 2022. We achieved this five months prior to the target. Equally, the Prime Minister had originally set 2030 for India to achieve 20% biofuel blending under the bold and decisive leadership of the Honorable Prime Minister, this 2030 target of 20% blending has been brought forward by five years and we will complete it by 2025. We had also planned to launch an E20 blended biofuel by April of 2023 and I'm very pleased to inform you that today the Honorable Prime Minister will be launching an E20 blended fuel which will be available in select petrol pumps in the country on a pilot project basis two months, well two and a half months ahead of the target April 2023 launch. The Honorable Prime Minister will also be launching a green mobility rally which will showcase various types of vehicles capable of having E20, E85, hydrogen fuel, CNG, and other new age fuels. As a country on a fast trajectory of economic growth, India is projected to witness the largest increase in energy demand of any country over the next two decades, accounting to close to 28% of incremental